Hello and uh, welcome to a brand new feature, uh, both for my blog on Biz Network Guy and also for Super Ted. Um, very pleased to say that uh, my great friend Cole Stevens has asked me to do some content for Super Ted, which I think is a great platform. And the whole idea about this little mini blog that we're going to attach on a regular basis is to help you get the best out of social media and also out of Super Ted. You see, there's not a huge difference between the two. And in this first short video, I'm anticipating to um, explain um, some of the benefits of um, SuperTed, LinkedIn, Twitter, and these features that can really help you um, to get yourself forward and get your head above the crowd um, in this very digital age that we live in. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll be seeing you again. And uh, thanks for watching. I think I'd like to start with um, just a little 101 on the internet in general. Um, and have a look at something that hasn't been around that long and, and the differences that it makes. And I think one of the ways that we can really make that come to life is to look at uh, an idea about what did not exist in the UK uh, before certain dates. So this, this first one in 1947, um, not particularly computer orientated, but it'll give you the idea of what I'm trying to show you here. So before 1947 in the UK, there were no supermarkets at all. We had corner shops, we had different facilities, but we did not have supermarkets and they came along in 47. So if you get the idea now, let's have a look at what did not exist in the UK before 1982. Any ideas? Well, I'll share this one with you now. And it was, yeah, the mobile phone, the old bricks um, that some of you might remember and younger ones of you will probably have a good laugh at, but they weren't around. So, um, just over 30 years, uh, no mobile phones, everybody was in phone boxes. And after that came 1993, what did not exist before 1993, only 20 years ago. And that was, yeah, the internet. It's only been with us 20 years, it's less than a generation old. And when you think about that and how far things have come, uh, since a guy called Tim Berners-Lee at a place called CERN invented the internet a mere 20 years ago. So moving forward once more, 15th of September 1997, what did not exist before that date? Something we all use, Google. Search engines came into existence and Google being possibly one of the most important things that is out there for any of us in the world now, um, is well under 20 years old. And it gets even more amazing when you look at the likes of things that came along uh, only after February 20, 2004. And that was Facebook. So Facebook is less than 10 years old. And everybody knows and some billion people around the world use that. 29th of June 2007. The iPhone. Uh, smartphones in general um, started to dictate a route which I think are going to become more and more important to you and me. And we'll examine this a little further in detail in a very short period of time. So Microsoft's quote from Steve Ballmer, the CEO, very angry man at Microsoft. And he happened to say, there's no chance that the iPhone is going to get any significant market share. No chance. Well, he's made a couple of statements like that and they haven't always been accurate. And certainly with that one, he was completely wrong. So moving forward again, 3rd of April 2010. So just about, over, well, literally just over three years ago from now. Can you believe it? The iPad. Seems like it's been with us forever, doesn't it? And the uh, developments now, I think they're on the iPad 3, if not the mini, and um, uh, they've sold in 2012. So this is about a year ago, um, over 100 million. Now, I think an update on that figure would put it probably near 150. It is actually the fastest selling product of all time. And again, it is incredibly significant to you. And I'll explain why shortly. And so, 2012, I obviously put this pres presentation a little while ago. We have the iPad Mini, we have the Google Nexus, we have Microsoft Surface, and the Samsung Galaxy. Now, what this shows you is that all the biggest players in the world are going mobile. And it's important that you're aware of that. It's important because... And you, you'd have noticed it yourselves all around the place that people are sitting there and uh, bus stops, cafes, wherever they are, everybody's got a phone, everybody's got an iPad, and they spend most of their lives looking at them. So it's somewhere where you can reach people that you couldn't before. 
the world is changing and what's more it is changing incredibly quickly as I said before 20 years 20 years that's all the time the internet has been around and in that time the death of the music industry uh, is one of the clearer views and visions you can see as to why things have changed music used to be controlled and to an extent it still is by a very very few people and they believed in their model and they believed in it so strongly that they were blinkered uh, to um, see things coming up on the outside channels that were eventually going to take over their world and the likes of Napster uh, in the 90s started uh, the put the writing on the wall and what that led to really was the music industry again just wanting to believe in the old rather than the new and they spent all their time in court trying to bash the hell out of Napster and didn't see people coming up the outsides like um, Steve Jobs at iTunes and Spotify and Rhapsody who quickly overtook them and these massive massive corporations are now um, very very small shadows of um, their former selves. So publishing is another way. Um, I publish books. This is one of the books that I publish. Uh, publish my own, publish for other people. It's relatively easy to do and you can do it. Um, online magazines. Uh, on the iPad is uh, a, um, a product called Newsstand. It's on every single iPad and people can publish magazines. I can do this. This is one I do for a Saudi Arabian sports team. Um, if you want a magazine, I can probably help you too. So control of the message. It's, it's, it's a really big thing, and it's changed. The, the control of the message that used to be within a very, very few people, whether it was government or industry or anywhere else, is completely different now. You have so much more power and so much ability to leverage your own interests. And that's, you know, where the likes of Super Ted really comes to their own. And so here we are. The summer of 2013 and Super Ted has been around for an awful long time. Um, it has a massive number of people that come and visit. It has 60,000 active subscribers. So why wouldn't you make the absolute best of your profile? It just makes perfect sense to do so because if you put that little bit of effort in, you're going to get so much more out of it. As I was saying, there's a number of ways you can communicate with people um, today. Um, for myself, I have a blog, Biz Network Guy. I write about what I want to write about. It doesn't get read by a massive amount of people, but it gets read by some. I have active people that follow me on Facebook and tweet and share my information. And I get fairly well known as a result of writing this blog. In this case, it's about football. Sometimes it's about business. Other times it's about what I want to do. But let's just have a look now very briefly at talking about the power of profiles or the lack of power of profiles. Um, LinkedIn is a particular favourite of mine. I just want to give you this as an example, and in, in the coming weeks we'll go into this in a bit more detail. The same applies for SuperTed as applies for LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. It's the same principle thing. If you put something into it, you get something out of it. Now, in this particular profile, and I'm not going to identify who it is, it's not a particularly good one. It, it, the, the, the first thing that absolutely smacks me in the face, there's no image, there's no picture. People like the people they know, or at least that they think they know. And if you have an image, rather like mine over here, which is a little bit scary, but that's what it is, it shows people who you are and that you're a face and you're a human being. No image, nothing to get a hold of and, 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 and really to get um, happy about, associated with, or feel that you have any kind of relationship. And then this profile, well, a little bit of experience. Um, working for a number of companies person's obviously a breezeable actor is subscribed um, with a number of people and recommended by them as so uh, went to a certain school went to a college and has one connection in common with me and that's it now how do you think that a profile like that is going to fare against something that somebody's number one put a little bit of effort into or number two put some consideration and thought and told a story of what they're about let me show you another one now. Graham Fordham is a very good friend of mine. If I'm being honest with you, his profile about a month ago looked rather similar to the profile I just showed you until we got together and I gave Graham some help on, on putting his profile into 
some form of optimal stance. Um, let's just have a look through this very, very briefly. Um, LinkedIn, SuperTed, same thing. You can work these areas and fill out the information that is there to the best of your ability and you will, I guarantee, you will stand above the crowd if you do so. So as LinkedIn comes in, we get the opportunity to put the name and then we get what they call the top box, which is a description of what um, you do and you will have the same option in SuperTed. These areas are what they call keyword searchable and Google will pick up on these things. It's quite, well, it's almost extremely likely that your LinkedIn profile, certainly, if you fill it out in the correct manner, will probably function better than your own website will because it has such credibility with Google um, uh, uh, and, uh, and trust with them. Now, SuperTed, as an association, SuperTed is a fantastically credible, highly ranked by Google website. If you are on there, once again, it is highly likely that your profile on SuperTed is more likely to appear higher ranked on Google than your own personal website. Nothing um, untoward about that. There's nothing um, but positives, really, because what that means is that SuperTed provides you with a very, very good tool to assist and link to your business. So just moving down here, Graham's quite active. He does things, and you can see his activity and connections in. One of the most important parts, and once again on SuperTed, the same as LinkedIn, your summary. This is what I call an elevator pitch. This is where you have your five minutes of fame call it what you want your you know, elevator means that you get in on the ground floor you go to the 10th floor and in that time you can tell your story you can say what you're about and most importantly why you do what you do and why people will want to use you and if you do that successfully i guarantee you'll have a much better time okay moving forward detailed experience talking about um, Graham's interests are in dyslexia and mentoring and IT advisors. He also runs a film source, uh, a film source supply company, uh, which provides equipment and um, pertinent uh, services to the film industry. And he also does video development. So we've put some of his videos in. Again, SuperTed, you can put your videos through YouTube onto SuperTed. Rich content is what people want to see. It will help you. And then we just track back through the years of Graham's work in Norton Team Coordinator, Music Festival Transport Coordinators, Film Transport Coordination, Director at Transport Companies, Bike Racing. And all the way through, you can see we've added images, pictures, and just something to keep people's eye and, and uh, um, attention attracted a little bit more and give you a chance of then, you know, hey, they might even get down the bottom of the page and see um, what, 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 what your um, recommendations are on your education if they continue with that interest to do so. Hey, and I've recommended him too, look. So connections. I think you'll agree. If you look at that, compare it with that, there's a world of difference. Now, this is what I'm really good at, and I'm, I, hang on, I've got to beat myself around the head at some point here and uh, tell you what I do. I help people to develop their profiles and make the best of their um, uh, abilities online. I'd be very, very delighted to do that and help you through SuperTed, um, maybe through LinkedIn to win, which is another profile that I use. So please do get in touch. I think that's the main thing. I'm going to cut this off now because I want to keep it relatively short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed and got some value out of this content. If you do want some help, you can either address me through SuperTed, which I'll be glad to do, or you can come to my um, blog site, biznetworkguy.com. And if you sign the email on biznetworkguy, you'll be able to get in touch and I'll be able to get in touch with you. So thanks very much for watching. I'll be back soon on SuperTed and um, helping you guys out with a little bit more information and hopefully um, helping you get your head above the shoulders of everybody else in the entertainment world. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.